Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta get a gym star. Give it up for the gym stars, man. Look, man. Last night's video, 9.2 thousand views, man. Let me show y'all something, man, because I don't think you guys understand. Like, you think I'm saying hit the like button for my health. 9.2 thousand views, and it says that the views are up 347%. And it's all because of the engagement. YouTube directly, directly links your channels it, it links it to the engagement. You guys liked the video. We got over a thousand likes. As a result, the video got recommended and thus we were able to get over 9,000 views. Can we do that again? I hope we can because I got this bill for you guys, the perfect center build. I've worked painstakingly on it. I worked very hard. Make sure y'all like up the video and I'm gonna be right back after this. Lido! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. Alright, man, perfect center bill, man, right here. I have worked so hard on this bill for you guys, and I know, I know. I know it's gonna be, you know, it's one of those ones where it's just like, how good could it possibly get? Look, man, you're gonna go center, right? I mean, whatever hand you wanna use, man. You gotta go center. And the reason that you go center is because you want to have more interior defense. At the end of the day, you are a center, you will be playing inside, and uh, and you will be defending the paint. And you're gonna have to go against some big people. This is the thing the center build that I put out yesterday, that build was for people who want to play it safe. I'm not really that good. I'm a marginal player. I'm not the greatest player, but hey, I'm pretty good. I believe in my ability, but I know that I'm not the greatest player, so I need all the help I can get. This center build is if you want to get a little bit more dangerous and, and push the line, toe the line a little bit. We know everybody's going to be going small ball this year. We know that, uh, that, that, that 6'11", to 610 to 698 is gonna be uh, those are gonna be the centers. A lot of people saying they're gonna pay six seven point guards. And, yeah, okay, good luck with that. No interior defense and get paint up mashed on. Oh, uh, and then some people saying six eight point guards and stuff like that. They're gonna play them at center. But a lot of people are saying they're gonna go six eight center for the max speed, all that good stuff. I understand it. I feel it. I respect it. But I feel like at the end of the day, you're gonna be very vulnerable to the guys that, that learn that. Okay, everybody went small ball. We can come out here and cheese with the big guys, and we just gonna crush y'all. And I feel like that's how it's gonna go. Already looking at the game, looking at people playing it early, you're seeing people go ahead and uh, and just paint mash and stuff like that. And if you don't have interior defense and straight stuff like that, you're not gonna be able to stop it. So this is what I want you guys to do. Physical pie chart. Well, go, look, the, the highest speed you can get is 62 anyway, right? Keep that in mind. Highest speed you can get is 62. So we're going to go with this, the pie chart, the third pie chart, not the second one. I think I made a mistake on my last video and said go with the second one. Go with the third pie chart. You're going to go with the, the speed pie chart and strength. 47 vertical. If you watch any of my videos, you know that the game is going to allow you to jump as high as you need to jump in order to block shots. So vertical ain't that much if you're a center and you're getting positioned and stuff like that. This is how you're going to build it, man. 83. Uh, leave driving layup alone, max out driving dunk, max out, uh, max out standing dunk. I think, uh, right, boom. So you're gonna leave it just like this. If you want to do it like this, this is fine. You wanna have max out your close shot, you can do that. But this is how you wanna do it. Leave everything else alone. Everything else costs too much. Jump shot. You're gonna put your jump shot at 68. All right? Max out your three-pointer. Max out your free throws, max out your uh, post fade. And now you're gonna get 19, 19, uh, 19 shooting badges. Look, that's the max shooting badges you can get anyway. Back off three right here. I don't believe that you can even do anything else, uh, you know, other than this. Put the rest of it in defense, boom. Max out interior, max out perimeter, max out lateral, skip over steal. Uh, max out your block, max out your offensive rebound, and max out your defensive rebound. Now you're left with a couple of points left. You're gonna put it in steel until you get 22 badges, boom. Then you can come back right here and you can make this be a 69 or what have you. And I know what you're thinking, those stats ain't looking too hot, man, they ain't looking too hot. But uh, you know, look, they don't let you play around 
works with anything as far as this goes, right? They, they, they don't let you play around with it. You can't, you can't move it. Leave it 69 and trust your boy, all right? Leave it on 69 because what we're going to do next is going to is going to make you great. So right now you got five finishing badges. Uh, so you can get what, three contact and two slithery or something like that? That's gonna be dope. Or three slithery and two contact, whatever. 19 shooting badges, that's max shooting badges for this build. One play making, cause that's all you need for bailout. And max defensive badges. You can't get any more, you can't get any more defensive badges than 22. 22 is the max, right, so boom. All right, so just wanted to show you guys that. And uh, you put it on playmaking, but anything. I feel like pass accuracy and stuff like that really doesn't matter. Uh, some people may feel like it does. If you want to put some pass accuracy up, it's going to cost you something. I say don't worry about it. Anyway, on to the next thing. Slider, we always go to fine. Man, y'all know that we go to fine for a reason around here, man. What y'all talking about, man? We going to fine. Boom. This is the secret sauce. Bring him down to 6'9", man. Look. 6'11", yeah, I mean, you there. 6'10", yeah, you, you, you know, you're doing some. Look, 6'9", bam. 6'9", you're going to have, your driving layup goes up to 45. We don't care about that. You have a, you have over 70 driving dunk. What other center have over 70 driving dunk as a shooting center? Then all your other attributes, you're starting out with a 72 mid-range. You're starting out with a 70 uh, three ball. Everything else really don't matter. Your interior defense is gonna take a hit, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that in one second here. This is the other secret sauce. Lateral quickness goes up, all that stuff. Don't pay attention to these numbers here just yet. Weight, we're going to go max weight, but we're not max weight, you're going to go 282. Go 282, see if you go max weight, you lose, you lose speed and acceleration. And then if you go 281, you lose strength. I want max strength and the max speed that I can get in here. So it's 282. You see, we got back interior defense, right? We got back, um, we got back plus eight interior defense. Boom. Arms. You're gonna uh you're gonna make your arms be one tick up. You go one tick up because you don't lose anything. You go two ticks, you lose, you start losing stuff. You go one tick up, look what happens. You get a 69 driving dunk, and then you get 70, uh, 75, 76 standing dunk. And that's important because you have to have a 50 driving dunk and a 76 standing dunk to get the uh, the big man uh, alley-oop catches. So you want to have that. Your block is gonna be 85, your defensive rebound is gonna be 85, boom. And then we're gonna take the glass. Uh, now look, the only thing I don't like about this is that you only got 84 interior defense but it's going to be really close to 90 once we get, you know, once you get your, your plus fives or whatever, you'll be like 89 or something like that. Get you a blocking boost or something like that, whatever, man. But um, there's no way to get it to go any higher unless you just want to go like 16. If you want to go 16, you can do that. I just feel like, I just feel like it, it, it's not worth it. That's what I feel like. But if you feel like it, you can go 16, I'm not going to go 16, I'm going to go 69. I played a 69. In t uh, small forward at center since 2K 16, 17, 18. I played a 69 small forward at center, 16, 17, 18. And um, not in 19, but I mean, not in, uh, you couldn't do it really in 18. I think I had to play a 7-3. No, no, I did do it in 18 because of the stretches. So you were able to do it because of the stretches. And then in 19, you really couldn't do it. Um, 20, 20, you could do it, but I was 6'11 in 20. So it is what it is. And then last but not least, boom. Complete the player bill. You have created yourself a glass cleaner, a la Ben Wallace, Jonas Valakunas, and DeAndre Aiden. And I say, they, they say that, man, but it's not those guys. It's more like, I feel like it's more Pascal Siakam than anything. But, you know, it is what it is. That's why I have him on the front. But if you make this bill and you feel confident in your ability, you're gonna have to be a dog. That's why you go, if you go 6'9", you need all 22 defensive badges because you're gonna have to put box up. Right now we got centers moving around like lightning and uh, until they fix that, you probably are not going to see the real benefits of this. But if everybody else is going 6'7 and 6'8", you will be the tallest midget. So hey, you're gonna get the rebounds, you're gonna get all of that stuff, man. And hopefully nobody's really paint matching like that. They said that they have new paint match technology that's gonna stop it and it's based on strength. But guess what? You got max strength. So nobody should be able to really dog you like that. And if they try to, just put on moving truck. You're gonna put on um uh 
let me see. This will be. We're not gonna do no more bills anyway. But so, uh, so let's just go on into it, man. We're gonna test. We're we going into the bill testing, but I want to look and see what what type of badges we we might be able to get with this guy, man. With this guy, 22 defensive badges. You're gonna put box right there. You probably put moving truck on silver so they can't try to kill you. You put uh, that on that. We're gonna go. You can probably get away with silver clamps as a uh, as a big man. Uh, you're gonna have to put rebound taste. You could probably get that on goal. You put this on goal. We still got six badges. One right there. Four on intimidator. And what else? I, I, I mean, depending on what they ask, what your people ask you to do, if you have to set screens, you could probably go. You probably do like this. Actually, you ain't gonna be, yeah, yeah. You could probably do it like this if you got to set screens or whatever like that. Um. Actually, hey, you probably got to take that moving truck off because you probably need. No, 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 no. If you're playing like that, yeah, it really depends on how you play, but you got some leeway. If you don't have to set screens, if we don't have to set screens, put clamps like that, uh, put your pogo up, and then shoot, you still got something. You can put, you can get rim protector on Hall of Fame, you can do rebound on Hall of Fame. Man, there's so many options that you have now. Um, uh, I feel like this is one of this is what I ran last year. I probably run it like this. With the uh, with the 22 badges, but if you have to put if you have to put uh, the other joint on, if you got to put uh, the screen setter on, then hey, it is what it is. But so you do something like that with that, you are gonna do bailout, you are gonna do bailout with with that badge. Um, what well, we got slithery? I'm probably gonna do gold slithery and silver contact like that. And uh, shooting badges, man, you got 19. You can go catch and shoot Hall of Fame. You can go. One on Dead Eye, you can go Hall of Fame here. Uh, you can go Hall of Fame corner. You can go, bro. Now you still oh, Hall of Fame range, and you still got three joints left. Shoot, go clutch shooter. Why not go clutch shooter or Green Machine or Steady Shooter or something like that? Man, you got so many choices now. Or or uh, pick and popper here. And take this range off because you're not gonna be doing that, doing it like that. Uh, put corner on gold and put clutch on, put clutch on silver, and and pick and popper right there, something like that, man. Or put clutch on gold or or just whatever you want to do, man. Put that corner back to there, like do it like that, man. You are gonna have so many options. Anyway, hope this video got video helped you guys out. I will have the best tutorials this year. Make sure you sub up, like the video. We need you guys to like the video so the channel can grow. Uh, we're gonna have the best jump. We got, look, this is what we do every year. The fastest tutorials, how to get there, the best jump shots. We have the best big man tutorial. We're gonna have a big man tutorial coming up uh, as soon as I get this guy maxed out and all of this stuff, man. And we just gonna have to see how this thing goes. Hopefully this year goes great. Like the video, comment below. Let me know what else, what other, else, other like type of bills you want to see, and let me know what, what system I should start out on. Should I start out on PlayStation? Should I start out on Xbox, man? Y'all, let me know. I'm gonna do what the masses want. One, uh, put just put PlayStation and Xbox down low, and let me know what y'all want me to do, man. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. Then commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn. Cause I ain't fine. I'm only 5'8, that's fine, nigga. I can give a heart transplant to a giant. I ain't lying, God speak. God speak, God speak. We good.